This is a poem about a reading I did at the Cheltenham Festival. I have actually read this poem at the Cheltenham Festival since. But it was an occasion when the Times was sponsoring the event and an article about my parents, Ted Hughes and Sylvia Plath, was published in the newspaper on that day. It was an unusual day in many ways and this is what the poem is about. After the Cheltenham Festival. I arrive in the green room dressed in motorbike black to see my father gazing into my mother's eyes from every coffee table. I am surprised by the newspaper front page that has found a way to include them on the day I am reading. Unnoticed, I climb out of my leather skin to become red with a gold belt and sit to wait my turn. And when my hour is done, I vanish back into black in the corner of the green room, like a moth backing into its chrysalis. I slip two copies of my parents' dead faces into the box on my motorbike as a form of repossession and ride towards the mountains of Wales. A sheet of clear plastic as big as a bedspread rises from the tarmac on the other side of the central reservation, a spectre of involvement. It moves through the air like a jellyfish moves through water, across three lanes and towards me. Cars swerve and break, but I see no escape as it swims into my lane. Its baleful edges suddenly open up, slip sideways and swallow me whole. I accelerate to cut a pathway through this thing that has wrapped me like a roadside gift. My front tyre rips through the synthetic skin and the two sides separate. One flies off to another life, the other fixes itself like a flapping sail to my exhaust pipe, even as I hit the hazards and move between cars to the hard shoulder. Now I am a boat in jeopardy and the other ships part for me. Peeling the threat from hot blackened chrome, I realise how the wrong luck could have ended the day. With more sense of life than when I left, my parents as talisman, I make my way home. <laughs>